half chance to gain some control here. And he got it. Okay, he might not be decent on a colour, but... Oh. Just hold the cue ball behind the yellow. Just run. One. Yeah, make sure Green came off the cushion, so if he does get a chance, Joe Trump, Green is in a better position for a clearance to win the frame. <laughs> Good escape, wasn't it? And he'd certainly be happy with the result. This red is on, though. Easy. Oh, superb. That was brilliant. Great queuing. 11 out of 11 now for Judd Trump in the long pot success stats. Great queuing. And how Rumble. important that previous shot. And knocking the green off the ball cushion. Clever little shot. Oh, well, hold on. Once again, not his best, was it? No, it almost decelerated through it. He's definitely losing his cue ball more than I've seen in a while. Wonder if Chad might play here almost a screw off the brown. He's got the power. To almost use the brown as a cushion. Maybe screw the cue ball to the left along the bulk cushion. Let's see how much grab he can get off the brown. Yeah, I like that. Close to the game. Seven. A decent effort. Mm, this is going to be a stretch. Yes, he can play the odd shot with his right hand, but he's not going to be holding for brown dead weight and playing it up and down with the opposite hand. Mm, I don't think you'd fancy it. Once again, considering his options. Yeah, I think if he just needed a green, he'd certainly take it on, but oh, this is difficult. Yeah, very difficult. Just run seven. Foot 18 inches. Is he interested in the pot or is he going to move the pink? He'll be happy with that result. Huge significance for both players, Alan. Whoever wins it, these long protracted frames, if you manage to win it, it really gives you a wonderful boost. Trying to you know, glancing at the pink, but I don't think it's worth trying to lift the pink off this because Judd only needs the blue. That was the gamble, Seven. wasn't it? He was never bound to get on the blue, and now he can't leave a shot to nothing because of the scoreboard. Oh, this is good. That's very good. Good shot. Had to get the the blue out of harm's way. Yeah, excellent shot. And then of course bringing that pink off the ball cushion just increases a bit of pressure on Judd Trump here with this safety shot. Oh, he didn't mean that. He got away with that. That was lucky. You see his hand raised. He was trying to hit ball cushion first with a lot of Left hand side, we may play blue to the right cushion here. Try and hide the cue ball behind the black on the left cushion. Oh, slightly drifted. Yeah, an easy safety shot there for Neil Robertson, and he's played it very well. It's a full ball snooker almost. Quite important he hits this the first time of asking. Otherwise, he'll need the pink. Oh, no, miss. Mm. Robertson, five. We'd love to see the big breaks and the sentries and stuff like that. And I'm sure they will come, but there's not like a bit of tension and drama. Old players trying to force a mistake from oh, no, miss. their opponent. Me Robertson, five. Mm, has he got it this time? The pace looks a bit better. No. Wow. Oh, no, miss. Got it this time. 
He's got a very straightforward safety shot. Could live to Trump and got a bit of trouble, but I'd be surprised if he doesn't take this on. He's contemplating it. Big shot. No. Nope. He always had the chance of getting it safe. It was one of those ones, as long as he didn't miss it and getting too close to the pot, he was always going to come away from the pocket. Now, this being virtually straight means that the push up and down is bound to get a double kiss. So he can't play the push up and down. He'll know that. Yeah, he's got a thin off it on the left side. Just, just make sure he gets the blue central. And he's played it a slightly different way. Okay, he's got cover with a black. That's clever. Oh, what a shot this is, Alan. Oh, what a shot that is. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's up on the table in appreciation of it. This is a hit and hope here. I'll be going back. Now, once again, being careful. Yeah. Battle goes on in the blue. Mm, he's got this a bit in the straight side. Oh, he's got to take this on. The safety is probably more difficult than the pot, so here we go. Oh, close. Mm, very close, and he's left it this time. For once. One of his long pots has let him down, Neil Robertson. Can Jude Trump take advantage? He certainly can. He hasn't missed a long pot. It's a wonderful blue. Pink for frame after almost 41 minutes. And what a huge frame this could turn out to be. It's there from the world number one. It was a protracted frame. Five frames to four. Well, Judd seems to think the cue ball, I don't know if it's hit the one of the slate lines or something, jumped. Yeah, I think it did. I think it jumped over something there. I think it might have been the, the groove of the slate. Yeah, I don't think it'll be the, the, the bulk line because they iron that flat, don't they? The, the slate line's about an inch and a half north of that bulk line. Perhaps it's that. Whatever it was, a mystery to everyone. Excellent break of 94 then. Neil Robertson wins the frame in one visit. That would open up the black into the low pockets. Didn't attempt to get on it there. So he's just playing this same pocket here. Let's see if he's going to attempt that or go back up for blue. Oh, he's missed it. Wow. Neil Robertson, 12. Eight. Nine. Optimum angle. Yeah, he's going deep, so he's playing it. <laughs> Are you happy leaving this? Uh, strange to say, because he's liable to knock it in. But he has been mistiming a few like that. Where's the cue ball? Oh dear. Yeah, long pot success. 
50%, so it's dropped for Judd. He's done One. well there. That had to be struck beautifully to get the cue ball out of there. Six. To be ahead before he gets to the yellow, so doesn't have to worry about it. Ten. Eleven. Nice leads in the off two cushions, judge perfectly. He's on boat reds here, so you can play for black or blue. Seventeen. Black it is, points all square. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. The one thing both players will never lose, even after a long bout of safety, when they get the chance and the balls are in the open, 40. they'll always score. Neil. 41. Just edging in front. 48. 49. Yeah. And it's definitely worth Trump to come back to the table here. Okay, two four point snookers required. Not sure if this yellow disappears, which I'm sure it will. Two. So it's going to be a best of seven for the title. Five, Frank conceded. Yeah, no, he didn't want bother Neil getting the rest out so once again for the sixth time the match is all square it's six all at the last interval and there's a cracking long pop to start this friend one it's been the same tonight really You're waiting for one of these players to sort of go through the gears and try and put their mark on this final five. Six. It's not a straightforward. If it was straight, he'd just drop it in, get on the black. But uh, here's a stat for you. I've just found that's the first time that Neil Robertson has used the rest. Thirteen. No, it wasn't a bad shot for his first one, was it? What a result! Twenty. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Well, he potted that on the left side of the pocket as he looked at it. I thought for a second he'd actually missed the black, and that's why he's lost position. He played for the red closest to the black. Right knuckle. If he put the black in the middle of the pocket, he'd have been perfect on the red. Yeah, Robertson, 35. And he'd got quite a bit to do with the cue ball there to get onto the black. I'd often see Neil shake his head. One. Thirteen. 
14. Blue would be better to go into the reds from. They're not too bad if he plays on the black. Yeah, he was straight there, so. 22. It's all about this shot. He's going to need both of these awkward reds. He's going to win the frame at this visit. 37. Both the wrong side of the table for a left-hander. Well, that's an absent concentrate. If he's got away with this, he's very fortunate. Trump, 37. If he's snookered, and I don't think he has, but... Wow. How often would you see that? Once in the blue moon, and this time it's Judd who's shaking his head. general One. standard makes off I suppose we expect so much but it's not been what I expected between these two for this final today lots of frames one in bits and pieces Expecting like a basketball game, Dennis. I just thought it was going to be break for break for break from both players, end to end stuff. They've probably made more mistakes in the final than they did in their two previous matches. But it all adds to the excitement. Now, can we get an angle on the colour to move that difficult red? 12. Yep, that looks pretty good. Needs to pull up. Got the perfect angle now to cannon the red out. This could be the key to winning the frame. I don't think it passes the yellow. 20. Here, Robertson, 20. Oh, he leads by 18 points. That's immaterial at the moment. The way the balls are situated, one mistake, and he'll be there for the taking. That was beautifully controlled, that swear. hasn't. Why can he pull out one of his specials here? So good with that type of shot. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, hasn't been as reliable today, has it? His long game. I mentioned before it was 90% successful against Mark Selby. You see 56, which is way okay. down. He can start finding them in these last few frames. It could be the difference in this final. Three. As if at this stage of Five. the match, if you can all of a sudden find a good long game, you're going to create opportunities for yourself rather than having to wait for mistakes from your opponent. Eight. Twelve. It's been terrific to watch. Few mistakes, but some wonderful tactical play. Seventeen. And the Australian and the Neil Robertson Neil will be feeling very good after taking that first frame after the mid-session interval, and he gets his nose in front. It's seven-six.
No, it's a great shop. Foul on the miss. Oh, is this a free it's ball? A free ball. It's a free ball. It just shows the importance of that brown being not safe. It's going to need a good shot to get up to the yellow, though. But if anyone can do it, it's this man. Watch the white. <laughs> That's a reverse side on that. Murphy's finished straight. It's very unlucky. Again, if anyone can do it, he can. Get position on the green from this. It's just magnificent queuing. And he's unlucky again. I mean, the distance the cue ball's travelled when he's on the cushion. Can't get to the brown from here. Well, you say that with a bit of trepidation, but it's Judd Trump. He can't get to the brown, but I can't see it. And he's just taking Seven. the pot and then trying to get in behind the black here with the cue ball. Judd Trump, seven. Be a little bit careful. I don't think he'll plant. Wow. He didn't have to hit Mouth it that thin. Miss. Put from four, free ball. Yeah. Like that shot. And even better, had the pink have finished tight on the cushion. And a miss. Plenty of points given away there and fouls. Mm -hmm. Play the snooker here. A thin one. We did have a chance to play the brown up the table, leave the cue ball here, there, oh. Judd. That would have been a more productive shot than this. was uh, a bit of a risk. The cue ball's missing the blue. He doesn't want to go for this and then move the pink. Miss the brown. Oh, what a pot. Oh. What a pot. Eventually, Dennis. After all the tactical and safety yeah. play on the length of the frame, in fact, over 50 minutes, and what an important frame that could turn out to be. We're all square again at seven frames each. So if he rolls to that red, he can leave the two to the right. Well, I'll tell you what. 10 out of 10 for the table fitter because that white ran absolutely dead straight. Didn't run offline one little bit. As I say, he was always going to leave a pot on on that last shot. What? Six. Seven. Yeah, that opening red was a great shot. And there are the two players. You think it looks like Judd would be the one that you'd fancy just to find that spark. Twelve. Nineteen. Twenty. That was a lapse in concentration from Judd there. But he certainly kept his focus and his temperament. Nice. 
That's exactly the, the kind of shot choice I was on about trying to find something. I don't think there's any way that Neil would have played that shot. Try to pop the pink and go round the table. Shot Trump, 26. the angle to pot the red and any can in the, any of the thin three reds on the left cushion obviously chance in your position you no idea where the cue balls go and end, end up they will set up for the position but unfortunately <laughs> not really developed anything but it's perfect on the blue you can play for the two reds next to the black six Seven. Mm, that's gone. It's gone wrong. Don't think you can stay on the red. That's to the left of the black spot. And cutting this black along the cushion. Will he take the pink to the far left corner? Yeah, this is aggressive. Brilliant. Brilliant. You just sense Dennis. That Jack might be finding something. Yeah, the long pots are starting to fly 30. in again. Okay, it's a very difficult table that he's faced with here. Fourteen. Just watch the side spin on this white when it comes off the ball cushion. Past the cutting point, in the middle. It's a very thin one. Twenty. Need one more red after this blue. And he's going to be unlucky. Yeah, a bit unlucky with the position, but the balls he's potted and the way he's potted them will make him 25. feel a bit better. We'll give him that inspiration, I think, that he's looking for. Shot Trump, 25. Hmm. Worrying times at the moment for Neil Robertson. He's not playing any good shots at all. And mentally, both players must be getting a little bit tired, especially with the way this final has panned out. Those long frames. Needs to keep running, and it has. Excellent shot. What a shot. It's all going wrong at the moment for Neil Robertson. Just trying to push that red onto the black cushion. Got it too thin. Just this red to leave Neil Nina Snooker. Wow. Eight. Quite an impressive frame this from Judd Trump. Seems to have just found that little gear. Just from eight. Foul. Yeah, Trump you know, concedes, frame concedes frame Judd Trump. Judd Trump, if you look at the body language of both players, he definitely looks the more confident to me, and he takes the lead. At eight frames to seven, be a brave shot to take the brown on. It would definitely cost you the match. Well, he's having a look at it. He's having a look at the reds. Well, right. He's got the pot and angle. What a shot this is to take on. I don't think he'll be taking this green on. Hmm. <laughs> but when you've got a chance to win the match right here and now, it's very difficult to turn this down. If that's your instinct to do, he's going to take it on. What a shot. Mm -hmm.